All right, so we're continuing the excavations inside the Memorial Church here at Jamestown. Uh, right now I am in the northeast corner of the chancel or the church, and we're starting to uncover uh, the, the bottom extent of the 1640s foundation uh, down to subsoil. And uh, recently we had just uh, it uncovered a possible tin uh, box that may be a time capsule that was kind of uh, a tunnel was hollowed out underneath the 40s foundation and was very uh, delicately placed on top of a brick uh, just under the foundation itself. Uh, we know that this tin box probably is from the 1901 excavations due to we have just currently we've just finished removing the rest of the, uh, the 1901 fill. Uh, that would mean that this box was placed here about 116 years ago. So we're going, we're getting ready to uh, remove the box on top of the tile that's placed directly underneath the uh, 1640s foundation. I'm going to take it out with the brick. Feels loose. There we go. Congratulations, Bob. There you go. All right. It's not in the lab yet. Thank you. Can you see anything on the back? Ah, I see the, those, those two rivets on the edge, on the back. Um, nothing really descriptive at all around the edge. It is look pretty corroded uh, shut, so. And Dan's warming up the x-ray. So yeah, definitely on the x-ray, yeah. Does it look like it's corroded to the brick? Uh, no, it looks pretty loose. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not corroded onto the brick at all, or on the tile. So, cool. There we go. To the lab. To the lab, huh? For those x-rays. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's so wet and dense that yeah, it might not work. Might not work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe paper in there? Yeah. I think it only uh, hope it's paper. 